Hello, and this is my tutorial for you about how to do an advanced lighting in After Effects. And um, if you want to see the um, final result, then go to the end of my video, please. So, first thing you do is go um, for File, Import, and File, or Apply. And basically just import whatever you want. So, mine is over here. There it is. And then after it's imported it, just simply click it and drag it down to new composition, this area, okay? And then just say fit up to 100 and it should be something like this, quite simple because then it will be easier. And um, go to the first frame um, where you want your lighting to appear, so it's there, drag this, this current time indicator there and then go to click on this one, I think it is, no? Which one is it then? Yeah, click on this bit here there and say effects generate advanced lighting. And um, here it is, but you can't see yourself. So what you need to do is click composite on original and there it will be. The problem is, if you want it between your two hands, then you can't do it. So what you want to do it is put it to a two-way strike if you want it between your two hands. But if you want it so that it's just from one hand, then just put it to direction. I wanted to put it onto a two-way strike, experiment with that, and then go a few frames forward. Oh, actually, no. Uh, what you have to do is click origin and direction as well, because if you don't, then see, I'll do this here as well. See, it just remains like that the whole time. So what you need to do is put original and direction over there. So then after you move your few frames and move the lining as well, will fit in the bits for you. So anyway, um, if your lightning is very simple, so your hands only go out and in, then you won't have to do a lot. So if you do very complex moves, then you will have to do it for every single frame pretty much. Okay, so here it goes. If you move the move this, just press Apple Z and it will remain like that. So anyway, after you've done this, few times you will be able to do it real quickly so anyway it goes out and then then where is it as it goes in you do the same thing and then in the end it's very easy to do so I'll try and go as quick as I can so in the end I wanted to stop there okay cool so in the end this is very rough, so I just only did it for five slides or something. Um, you should add up something like this after it's loaded. So something very simple like that. Okay, so you might see a few problems here, and um, one of them will be that um, at the beginning, you, um, the lining is still there. So Go to the first frame, or the frame before that, and um, you will see a problem that if you move it up here, then there will still be a glow. And the simple way to um, do that is go to the first frame and slide these two blobs up to that bit. And if you slide this over here, then that will be blank, black. So when you Im import it, um, you will, it will only import those bits. So you want to add the re these these parts over here in iMovie or something else. So there it is. So now it only imports this part. And uh, over here you will see lots of options. And another thing to make your lining look really cool is for every I don't know five slides, set the conductivity scale by five, and you will see. I mean, it makes it look different. So if you make your lining different, it will look very very good if you don't then sometimes it does mess up so there it goes set the conductivity scale i know by five for every single 10 frames and then if you want to change the color of your lining i like it green go to glue settings pick a color and then just slide over there if you want to pick something quite bright for example yellow um, then you have to set the glow opacity to something lower. 
but I won't explain all of these. I'll leave you to experiment with these. So I'll put it to a red one, and you can um, set it pretty bright. Nope, I don't want to accept it. And then um, the forking bit, that's probably what you want to set pretty high. Because if you set it really high up, then this will look really complex. No. Okay, but I I suggest something like 60 because if you get really really complex when it's up here, if you get really complex, so the forking up there, the different one, then it won't be so good. So now you just set it to uh, something of your liking. This is exactly what I'm talking about. If you have something here, set it to 100, it will take ages to load. So just set that to I know about 40 percent and um, there you go now you know how to do an advanced lighting in after effects so thank you for watching and please um comment rate and subscribe um and um now you know how to do it so please comment and if you want to answer any um ask any questions then just um, put a normal comment or just send me a message and um, thank you for watching, and I will send you more tutorials, just tell me what you need to do. So thank you, and um, goodbye!